My name's Emma Cowley. I'm a lecturer at the University of Plymouth um, in podiatry. Uh, I've got a special interest in musculoskeletal conditions. So these are conditions of the joints and the muscles and, and uh, bones of the body. Um, so I practice clinically and I'm also an active researcher and I teach. I've been doing it for 25 years. When buying insoles from a shop, there's a lot that you would need to take into consideration, perhaps based on what your problem is to start off with. Um, so not everybody wants insoles for the same reason. Some people have very sweaty feet, very cold feet. Some people have painful feet. And you might go to a shop to look for an insole that's going to help that particular problem. Hopefully the packaging will give that away uh, to a some extent. So if you want, uh, I don't know, uh, something to stop your feet from smelling, there may be something on the packet to help you to choose an insole that maybe got some activated charcoal in um, that would help with that. Um, I think other things to just bear in mind is uh, if you are looking for insoles that are going to go into work boots, you need to be a little bit careful if you have constraints on the type of work boots that you have to wear for work. So there is uh, some legislation that talks about, for example, some people needing anti-static, anti-shock type um, features in their insoles. It's very unlikely that you'd get that in a shop-bought insole. It's much more likely you'd need to go to your supplier through the procurement department in your, in your workplace um, that could make sure that you have the right insoles um, to meet the um, the requirements of your job and minimise any risk to you during that, um, during that day at work as well. So apart from that, I think uh, maybe it would come down to looking for certain features that um, would maybe deal with common complaints of the foot. So a lot of people have pain under the forefoot. These are the joints just here at, near the toes, um, which can frequently become painful in some people, particularly people with high arches, they can get pain under this area here. Um, if that was the case, you may want to go for something that's got uh, some cushioning in the area just that sits underneath those joints, um, but obviously not so thick that it's going to interfere with the fit in your shoe. It's really important that your insoles do fit into your shoes as well as fit your feet, so make sure that both of those checks are in place. Um, maybe if you had heel pain, you might seek out something that's got a softer area around the heel that can help to offload the structures um, just underneath here where they join onto the bone, onto the heel bone, and that can be really effective in some people. So I think it comes down to really what is the problem and then you can ask for what the solution is from there. <laughs> <laughs>